My administration is putting unprecedented pressure on traffickers at home and abroad, and we are freeing innocent victims at every single turn. I was proud to be the first Commander-in-Chief to attend a meeting of the President's Interagency Task Force established by the Trafficking Victims Protection Act of 2000. In November, I was also the first President to sign an executive order to establish a task force on missing and murdered American Indians and Alaska Natives. Just signed it. And this has a very special focus on women and girls. That's an incredible thing that's been happening, but we just signed it. I've signed nine pieces of bipartisan legislation aimed specifically at combating human trafficking domestically and around the globe. And in 2018, I signed legislation strengthening the Department of Homeland Security's Blue Campaign, which unified the Department's fight against this crisis and increasing public awareness every single day. We have signed more legislation on human trafficking by far than any other administration has even thought about. We enacted bills. Thank you. And we'll do what's necessary. We will do exactly what's necessary. There's nothing more horrible than this. We enacted bills to fight sex trafficking, increase support for survivors, and raise the standards by which we judge whether other countries are meeting their duty to fight human trafficking. And you have countries that talk, and they talk. They're like politicians in Washington. They keep talking. They do nothing about it. They do nothing about it. And we spend a lot of money on these other countries, and we're not sending it, and we let them know if they're not going to be doing their job. They don't, in some cases, probably want to do their job, and that's a pretty bad thing. We've authorized $430 million to fight sex and labor trafficking. And with the help of the State Department, I have held foreign governments accountable for failing to address human trafficking by imposing restrictions on foreign assistance and very powerful restrictions. I've also prioritized increasing funding for anti-trafficking efforts in my 2021 budget, allocating $70 million toward enhanced prosecutions. And at the Department of Justice, we are spending $123 million toward supporting state and local efforts. And this is all new funding, and these funds will directly benefit those on the front lines who are tasked with bringing down the perpetrators of this terrible crime. So the kind of money we're talking about now is far greater than what you've had in the past. And uh, let them give the people that work so hard in this administration credit, because they've wanted to do it more than the people in any other preceding administration. And you can read what you want, you can say what you want, but nobody has done more than what we've been doing on human trafficking. So today, on the last day of this year's National Slavery and Human Trafficking Prevention Month, I will take another very decisive action. In a few moments, I'll sign an executive order targeting human trafficking and child exploitation all across our country. This order — and this is a very big one. This order will build on an incredible work that — and really the unbelievable work that so many of the people in this room have been doing, and all of the work that's been done and increasingly uh, is being done. You wouldn't believe the level the level of enthusiasm that people working on this issue have. I, work, I have many issues — economic, we have all different issues. I have never seen such enthusiasm for a single issue as I have for human trafficking. And I have to say, that starts with Bill Barr and Chris Wray, the FBI. It starts with all of the people in law enforcement. So important, and it's uh, — something that uh, people really do appreciate. So they collect and they coordinate. They share vital law enforcement and intelligence information with other places all over the world. 
and very, very important. And we have made a tremendous impact. The problem is it's so massive. It's so many people. It's so many countries. But we've had a tremendous impact. It will be posted online along with a comprehensive list of government resources, all of the things that we do and where to go to find out about what's happening. This order expands prevention education programs, promotes housing opportunities for survivors, and prioritizes the removal of child sexual abuse material from the Internet. And furthermore, it takes the vital step of designating a full-time position here at the White House dedicated solely to combating human trafficking so people know how important it is. The United States government continues to work with the United Kingdom, Australia, Canada, New Zealand in consultation with industry on a set voluntary principle. We have a uh, a set of voluntary principles to tackle online child sexual exploitation and abuse. And the level of detail, the kind of things that they're putting in, nobody's ever seen anything like this before. The people that are working on it do it with incredible heart and love, and they want something to happen. They don't want to be wasting time like people have been wasting for many years, even people in this position. They've been wasting time and not a lot of money, I have to tell you. They haven't spent, as you know, they haven't been spending a lot of money. We're now spending a lot of money. We look forward to launching these principles in the coming months. And we will not rest until we've stopped every last human trafficker and liberated every last survivor.